But it, at a certain point in time, one would say, okay, well, it couldn't do this two years ago, and it couldn't do this four years ago. Like, when we were looking towards the future, like, at what point in time when it can do everything a person does, what point in time do we decide that it's conscious? If it absolutely mimics all human thinking and behavior patterns. That doesn't make it conscious. It becomes indiscernible. Yeah. It, it's, it's aware. It can communicate with you right. the exact same way a person can. Like, is, con is consciousness, like, are we putting too much weight on that concept? Because it seems like it's a version of a kind of consciousness. It's a version of imitation. Imitation consciousness, yeah. right. But uh, if it perfectly I, imitates yeah. it. I still think it's, a per it's an ex example of imitation. So it's like a fake Rolex when they 3D print them and make them yeah. like indiscernible? Con the question is what's the definition of con consciousness? Yeah. yeah. That's the question. And I don't think anybody's really clearly defined that. That's what get, where it gets weird. And that, that's where the real doomsday people are worried that you are creating a form of consciousness that you can't control. I believe it is possible to create a machine that imitates human intelligence and has the ability to understand information, understand instruction.